Oh, right. I get it now. To be honest, though, it was me who needed your help, not Papa Fernando. <laughs> Can't follow that logic. Who are the other racers? You know them. It's the Born Fast crew. They're raring to go. Oi, he's eager. But this isn't really a street race. There's no checkpoints, just the finish line. So keep to the route and get there first. It's hard to overstate the effect that the Beetle had when it arrived in Mexico in 1954. Before that, all we had were these huge American cars. So this new European-style car with its shape and light chassis and those adorable headlights and an engine that anyone with a tractor could fix was, well, a complete game-changer. They were so exciting that they were displayed at the Ciudad Universitaria in Mexico City, and there were lines to come and see this new car. Production of the Beatles started in Mexico soon after seven of them finished the Carrera Panamericana. Before that, people were a bit worried about reliability, you see. We Mexicans love a good-looking car, but a car that can do work is better. The Panamericana convinced us, and in 61, Automex had assembled 250 of them. By 62, the first plant had opened in Halostock, making 10 of them a day. We love that car. So another plant opened in Puebla in 1967. That is a great car. Probably the most iconic car in all of Mexico. Ay, es increíble que un auto tan pequeño deje un vacío tan grande. Adiós, Sedan. Thanks. I'll call you when I've got that next one ready.